Uh, greetings, friends. Uh, welcome to the uh, 10th uh, review in the 2017 Christmas Sample Series. Uh, today I have a very, very special guest, uh, the founder of uh, Cuban Cigar website, Trevor Leesk. Thank you for joining us today, Trevor. It's, a, it's an honour to have you. My so, pleasure. My pleasure, John. Um, I'm just really excited to uh, do this uh, cigar with you. Today we're looking at the Cohiba Siglo 6. Um, and one thing I um, just wanted to uh, talk about before we start talking about this particular cigar, the, the band, look at that band. It's changed in the last few years. It certainly has. Very flesh. It's got the anti counterfeiting uh, aspects to it. But I think they've still counterfeited those in many places. <laughs> Yeah, they seem to find a way, don't they? Yeah, but these uh, yeah. these bands uh, were first introduced with the Cohiba Pyramid Extra in 2012, and by mid 2014, they started to put onto all the um, uh, Cohiba Siglo and uh, Classic range. Um, even now, the Maduro Five series now in 2016 have got new holographic uh, bands. But um, anyway, these. Cohiba Siglo's uh, that six that we're um, smoking today, they're, they're young, year, a year and a bit old. Um, what are you picking up at, out of it? It's, young, it's a bit early to say. Well, well they're still quite mild. Um, it's a bit hard to tell what they're going to develop as. Yeah, yeah. I know we've had some 10-year-old previously, but uh, no, these, these, these are a good cigar. They are. No matter uh, what you feel you're getting out of it. They are. Okay. People, people, and I was talking to Fuzz about this on the weekend, people, and, look, and rightly so, they talk about the expense of gear. Uh, um, the thing is, they still sell. Uh, Havanos, they say, uh, they, they put their prices and there's a demand, there's a market there, simple economics. And they tend to be um, a beautiful, mild, honey, citrus, generally speaking, cigar. And uh, I feel that this is this is that. Um, but in comparison to the uh, number of cigars that we've enjoyed together, the age, ten-year-old, yeah, there, there is a there's a difference. There. This one still had the barnyard smell, which we um, just a previous cigar that we had we. Figured it had lost that barnyard smell, but um, it's still although good. it's hard to compete with that cigar that we just had just before we well, come on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, six-year-old 1966 LE. Uh, that was <laughs> that was a good cigar. That was a an excellent cigar. Uh, Now, one thing I was talking to you about off air, Trevor. Um, one thing that I've learned from smoking Siglos with you, Siglo, from the one to the six, and this is what what I've come to think of the Siglos line. I tend to find that the Siglo um, series, especially when aged, because we've had a number of aged ones uh, yeah. over time, um, they have an em there's more of an emphasis. I, I get slightly more grassiness out of them, and when they when they age, you get a, a creamy texture to them. Whereas, yeah, sure. I find I find the Siglo Six. This is my opinion. This is my opinion. Um, they stand out a little bit different to the the other Siglo One to Five because they uh, they they don't have that. They're not as grassy as they get older. That maybe not as creamy. Maybe it's more buttery mm. texture out of them. Mm. Um, more of, more in line. I think it, it, there's a sort of a. To me, there's if you remember the age robustos and the young robustos we've had, yes, where you're looking yep. at more like a light milk coffee. Yes. Yeah. Out of those, yep. I find that I get that out of a Siglo Six from time to time. A little bit of that more. Right. Yep. Out of the grass. That's just me. Mm. I don't know how you feel about that. I think there's a different blend on them, and the reason I say that is because I think if you look, I mean, there's no 
And you did your research finding Cuban cigar websites. Very hard to find uh, data on sales. Yes, <laughs> for sure. You tried hard. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Tried hard in many ways to get a lot of data. Yes. <laughs> Confident that was. It was. Yeah. Um, many, many aficionados, uh, many of our viewers, very grateful that you started that up and then Alex is running that uh, wonderful website, that wonderful resource. But um, yeah, I think I think Siglo 6 sell very, very well. I think they have their fans. I think if people are going to go for the Siglo 6, they're going to go. Siglo 6 is going to sell maybe Siglo 2, might, I'm just guessing. Yeah, yeah. educated guess. Yeah. Siglo two won't be second because of that particular own size. It is it is a bigger cigar. I mean, when these first came out in two thousand two, Trevor, would I be right in saying fifty two ring gauge by one hundred and sixty six? I don't know one hundred sixty six. I'm thinking the Cohiba uh, nineteen sixty six. Um, I think this is uh, fifty two ring gauge by about one hundred fifty four off the top of my somewhere in there. Something like that. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Was fifty two ring gauge was a it was. was big. Yes, yeah, it was. I mean, the only cigars that were that big were probably the torpedoes. Yes, and the uh, figueres. Oh. But, uh, unfortunately, it's not uncommon these days. No. No. We're, again, we we're just talking just before we came uh, on air here in the video. Uh, I was just letting uh, just talking about how Churchills, and we've talked about this in the review series so far. Uh, only three Churchills left in the last 15 years, 13 deleted. Um, only four main double Coronas left. Uh, uh, two haven't been seen for a while. Vegas, Rabana, Donna, Hydrandro deleted. Uh, there's many more of those sizes way there before. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. It has a very nice draw. Oh, it's perfect, yeah. Perfect. Because you'd expect that from a basically a quality expensive cigar. It's true. You don't always get it, but you expect it. Yeah, you do yeah. expect it, yeah. Well, I, I do, again, I've been thanking your president uh, for this uh, Christmas sample series to put up three Cohibas. Yeah. Elencheros, Espendidos, which haven't, they haven't been around last year or two, Heart of Source and this Siglo 6. Um, yeah, all great cigars. Mm. Oh, we've got three yeah. out of the 12. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. Do you have a favourite out of the Siglos? I'd say. Uh, I do like the two. It's, uh, this is really well. Yeah, yeah. It uh, suits my size. So. That's a preference, I suppose. Yeah. Do you also have a preference with ageing? That's a question that people ask a lot about Kiva's. Well, as you know, most of the ones I smoke are at least 10 years old, so... I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> You've taught me well. I've got to admit that that's my preference too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, that's what you introduced me. You mentored me. Yeah. Um, over the last uh, you know, three, I've come up to four years since I've you know, known you. Mm. Um, um, yeah, and once you go on, and once you try these cigars at that, that age range, it's, you do find a preference. I do find a preference for them. Yeah. Well, some of the ones we smoke, they're up to 12, 13 years old. And yeah. It's like a good wine. They, they are improving. They do change, but uh, for the better. Yeah. For sure. Oh, definitely. Mm. Has it changed for you, Trevor? Well, this one's still an excellent smoke. Um, still developing flavour. Yes, I'm, I'm sure, you know, these, um, in another 10 years, would be better. Yeah. Um, you just got to have that patience to be able to risk yes, them. Yes, yeah. If you can. Exactly. Yeah. So when um, uh El Prez gets those emails on a daily basis. What can I smoke really well now? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to say Siglo 6. <laughs> <laughs> it's not likely to say Siglo 6. Go for it. No, no well, that's it. But uh, it's like anything. It's uh, There were probably some good cigars in the Cohiba or in the Banos range that are good smoking. And there are some that don't improve. 
but I think the Kuvo as a general product range. We're gonna um, we're gonna come back. Uh, we're gonna smoke through this and come back later. There's one thing I just wanted to just ask you. See what you think. Um, Kiba related question. Uh, the Maduro Five. Genios, Magicos, Secretos. Mm -hmm. We've had a few of those. Yeah. Uh, I, I know the answer to this question. Like you could tell that, friends. Uh, yeah. I love them. Yeah, I must have. Yeah, I must admit when they first came out, I, I wasn't that keen on them, and I had a box of each, and they were sort of st stuck away. And uh, we got them out, I think, last year, and uh, it, it was amazing. Oh, they were. It was definitely amazing. Uh, John's going to take some home today. <laughs> fact, so. No, they, they they were the biggest surprise, I think, the Maduros. Um, okay. Chocolatey coffee. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah really different. Very different. Really different. Really different. Very different. Really different. Yeah. Probably why I didn't like them originally was that they weren't classic Cohiba flavors. I agree with that. I agree with that. And uh, not young. When you bought three boxes of it, you think, oh, you know, have well, I done the wrong thing here? But no, given age, they're beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm with you. Totally with you. All right, friends, we're, we're going to leave it there. We're going to return later on in the video with a, a summary of the uh, when we get back the back half of the Cyclo 6. Until then, uh, we'll talk to you later. We'll probably be doing a little bit of drinking in between. <laughs> we will uh, enjoy this fine 1998 uh, Shiraz. What type? Shiraz. Yeah. yeah. Pure Shiraz. Mm. Very nice. Cheers. Cheers.